Hey everybody, my name is Ashley and welcome back into my kitchen. Today I am putting away an Azure order that I just picked up this afternoon. It's smaller than normal and I'm gonna tell you why. If this is your first video here, we do a lot of gardening, food preservation, and anything kitchen related. But today we're just going through a few things that I bought for my kitchen. I do not buy a ton of food in super large quantities. Bulk buying can refer to just buying in a bulk food section of a grocery store or a food co-op or something like that, where you're buying out of a big bin as much or as little as you need. But then bulk food buying can refer to also just getting super large quantities of things. And while I sometimes get large quantity of things like oats, rice, salt. I don't always buy my bulk foods in large quantities. And this Azure order is one example. Now these jars, this was the real reason for this month's order. The Azure orders come once a month and they come on a semi truck. You have to go to a specific location at a specific time and help unload several pallets usually of things that are then sp spread out for uh, all the people in your area who have purchased from that company that given month. And so last month when I got jars, I was not able to get these one gallon jars because they were out of stock. It was just half gallon. And so I got 12 of those and I showed you those when I did my other haul, which I can link to this if you're interested. Um, but I am so excited for these gallon jars. And as the last month has gone on, I've been identifying things that's gonna go in a gallon jar, that's gonna go in a gallon jar. I'm going to be putting our granola in these gallon jars. I already do. I just made granola yesterday. And so this is a very similar sized jar. I mean, they are both gallon jars, but the lids are actually not interchangeable. This is a jar that I got a while ago for fermenting, which is why I have this silly cap on it, but it's got a hole in it. So now I will have gallon jars with proper lids to keep the air out and the food extra fresh. Now that's the only gallon jar I have, but when I make granola, I have at least a gallon and a half. So now I'm gonna be able to fill two of those when I make a batch, which I'm really looking forward to. So what else I'm going to put in these gallon jars is flour. If I get a five pound bag of flour, I have not really purchased flour in super big quantities in a really long time, but five pound bags of flour do not fit in the half gallon. So that is going to go in one of these gallon jars. I will also put oats in one because even though we have granola we don't eat granola every day i do like to have granola around i try to have it around at all times lately because i don't like to be super reliant on pre-packaged um, cereal from grocery stores and that's just a really great way that we can snack and kids can easily get their own breakfast and it's already ready to go in a similar way to packaged cereals. Oh, the other thing that I was thinking about putting in these is pickled eggs. That is a project that I'm going to be working on very, very soon that I'm super excited to also make a video for. And I'm probably going to start with half gallons because they're a little smaller and we can just kind of try it out. But then if we like them, I think these gallon jars are going to be really awesome for doing pickled eggs. These probably will hold about 40 regular size large eggs. Our chickens only give those small ones, so I'm guessing I can get more in here. But a half gallon is supposed to fit about 20 and a quart is supposed to fit about 10. So I figure 40 for a gallon. Now these other packets, these other boxes have some smaller quantities of, of bulk goods. So I did get some flour. This is just a 10 pound bag though. They, This company does sell flour in up to 50 pound bags, I think is the largest, but I wanted to try their flour before buying a super big quantity. Right now, I am in this, I am in this phase of trying to figure out, number one, what is best cost wise from Azure versus our local food co-op and also what products I like better. So some of these items that I purchased this month from Azure, I cannot even find at my food co-op. And some of them I, I can find there. I wanted to try them out and see what the differences were. When I look at my bulk food buying, I want to make sure that I'm balancing out the quality of the products with the price that I'm able to get. And our food co-op, if you have a local food co-op near you, you can, you probably already know this, but if you don't shop there, 
they, most co-ops allow you to play special orders for large quantities of food. And a lot, and a lot of time these are going to be in case case amounts. So uh, if you're talking about a big bulk food item, those are going to be those 25 pound bags. And typically if you place one of those special orders, you get a discount. Usually it's 10 or 15% off of the normal purchase price in the store. So that is an advantage. So sometimes if there's items that I want to get from the bulk food section of our co-op that I don't want to get the case quantity or the 25 pound bag, they still go on sale and you can, you can take advantage of that. So I'm guessing this flour is not going to fit in one of my gallon jars, but I know the five pound bags will. Either way, I know I mentioned this before, but I want to, either way, I want to show you what is so special about these jars that I can fit my, my largest scoop right inside and get to whatever is in here. When I try to store things in a half gallon ball jars, I cannot do that. I, even the largest ones, I cannot get my largest scoop. So I will be able to go in with my largest scoop and scoop out anything that I need out of these larger, larger jars. Okay. So that's the flour. We got cornmeal. Now the cornmeal price from Azure is lower than our co-op, but we really like the corn, the cornmeal at our co-op. So I bought a five pound bag, which is the smallest quantity to give it a try. And if we like it, more or the same, then I know that this is going to be the one that I should go for and I can get in larger quantities. Here is some corn mesa, which I cannot get at our co-op. This is a four pound bag. I want to try making homemade corn tortillas. And so that is why I got that. Even though that is not on our shelf at the co-op, if you ask a co-op about a different product, that is sold by a company that they of a brand that they carry, they oftentimes can get those other products for you. So ask about that. The next item I got is some carob chips and I made some awesome carob walnut oat cookies and I actually did a video on it, but I used sweetened chips, which I think is good because that recipe doesn't have a lot of sugar in it but I wanted to try the unsweetened ones and I only got a pound because I didn't want to get anything bigger. That's the theme of this whole purchase is smaller quantities to make sure I like the product. I don't want to get a 50 pound bag of flour, a 25 pound bag of cornmeal, a 10 pound bag of carob chips if I'm not crazy about them. So I want to make sure that I'm not stuck with a super large quantity of something that I don't like. And then I got some organic short grain brown rice. I actually got two, at least two packages, two packages of that. Now, brown rice, I've been, I've been hearing a lot of people say you have to be careful when storing brown rice because it goes more rancid than white rice, which makes sense. Whenever you see rice stored for super long-term food storage, like in 10 pound cans, it's always right. It's always white rice. It's always white flour. Unless wheat is in its whole berry form, if it's already ground up, that exposes those oils and things to air that can go rancid quicker. So the white things are always better suited for like decades long storage, um, but that's not really what we're doing here. This is going to be eaten. But again, I wanted to make sure that I like that I like the product before I did anything beyond this. So yeah, so I got two five pound bags of short grain brown rice. And then I got also two five pound bags of bas basmati rice. That's white rice. Although this does come as a brown rice as well, but I got the white version. I have actually purchased this white basmati rice from Azure before, but I know I still have quite a bit. I would say at least I have 15 pounds. So I didn't get a huge quantity because I know I already have some. And then the last thing I'm doing is just um, lids for my jars. These are sold separately from the jars. So you want to make sure that you always throw these in your order if you're going to get some. And again, this is my, this is my thing. It's got a rubber gasket and that is key to keeping the air out and to keeping whatever you are storing in these jars as, as fresh as possible. Obviously my granola lid is a poor example of that, but that is why I got these jars and these lids. 
So that's it. That's what we've got. I'm going to go ahead and get these jars washed up, get some of this rice in here and these different products put away. But I wanted to take you along this haul with me because I wanted to talk about that difference between buying in bulk and buying bulk quantities. And th there can be a difference there. And it's also really important to not get carried away with those large quantities if you're not sure that you like the product or if it's not something that you actually eat. If you see something that's on a good deal or it's in a big quantity, but you don't actually eat that much, you might want to reconsider and buy either a smaller quantity to try or just buy in a smaller quantity because it takes you longer to go through those things. Just like the brown rice here, I'm trying to integrate more brown rice. We don't eat actually a ton of rice of any kind in our house, but I want to try to integrate more of the brown rice when we do have it, which is why I wanted to make sure that I had some on hand and I wanted to give this brand a try. If you would like to see me attempt to make corn tortillas, mention it in the comments because I can certainly do a video on that and let you know how it goes. If you want to see more of what comes out of my kitchen, more gardening videos, food preservation videos, anything kitchen related, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon.